Hello everyone! I know it's not often you see me start a video like this one, but this is a uh, special video. Uh, it's today. It is a year ago that my father passed and I wanted to dedicate this video for him. He loved playing the harmonica and he actually did write his own note here and there. So he used a notebook with note paper in there and I am going to make this book with the note paper in there today. So even though that this is a very small and very easy video to do and I did all the work, I actually used a lot of time to get this lined up right, uh, I'm going to show you how I made the notebook and I am going to leave it for you to download in the info box below. So thank you for watching. So to test my printer and find out how it is printing, I am taking a piece of paper and I'm going to put in some text here. Um, and I'm gonna write this page, oops, sorry about that. This page up, no, this side up, this side up and apply. So this side of the paper is up, and then I can write this, oops, is the top. So I can put that up here. Just merge this for a second. And uh, of course everything is going quite wrong when you're doing it on camera, just like that. Then I can go in here and print layout. I am using uh, PaintShop Pro right now, uh, but you can use whatever program you want to. So like that, and then just click print. So I get this piece of paper where it says this is the top and this side up. So I go back to my printer and pop it in the printer. So I have, this is the top on the inside of the printer and this side up as it says. So I'm just popping that into my printer like it's a regular paper, placing it in there, dropping this one out again and it's ready for printing the next page. Then I go back to my drawing page here. Again, I have the page, but this time I empty it out. And I'm using a red uh, to write here. Like, uh, then it is printing here. And I'm just gonna pop it in there because you can see the way the paper will uh, be turned by the text. And again, I am going to go into my print layout, pop it over here, and just click the print button. And there I go with the paper, and it prints on this page. So this top up and this side up, when I put it in like that, it is printing on this side. So now I know how my printer works, how the paper is received in the printer and how it comes out. This is a very important step for you. For the easy part of it, I put my two files right here on the table on my computer. And right now I am right clicking the uh, first file. And I'm picking the one that says print. For me it's Uskru as I am using the Danish version. But you would have a print around here in your menu. Just click that one. And just don't touch anything. You want it to be the right printer and the right A4 piece of paper. That's it. Just print. Just click print. And it will print. So I have my printed page out. I know this will be the top of my page. 
so I have to turn it around to get the result I want to. So I am just taking this one, popping it in here like this, trying to get it to lie per lie to be um, perfectly aligned with the paper that is in my tray and just pop it back into my printer. With my paper in place, I am going to take the other print file and I'm just going to click the print it and print. So this is what you get. You get a side that has something on both sides. And when you look here, you can see that the back cover is covering the front and the side is lined up perfectly. And on one side I have this little, I don't know if you can see it, but I have a cutting edge. On the other side I don't, this way I don't have this line on my done pages. So now all I have to do is either use my cutting board or uh, just a tiny scissor and cut out these pieces. So I'm cutting out from the side where you can see the text on the front book, on the front of the book. Anyway, um, cut it out so you don't see any of the white parts. And I'm being very carefully uh, with my scissor when I'm cutting. It might be easier with a knife. But I feel that I have more um, uh, precision when I'm using the scissor. And you see it has this nice insight. Then you can take something to bend the paper. So I'm lining up the colored uh, different here and on the top of the scissor and then I'm just gonna squeeze with my finger and I'm gonna do that on the same side well, the other side here but the same way, like that and now I have the little book cover for my note paper so put that to the side and cut out these note papers And there's more than enough note papers here for the book. So I'm just gonna cut it out. And I'm gonna cut it here in the middle, like that. And now I have two pieces of papered note paper. And I can see I have to change my print file a tiny bit uh, to make it right. Uh, so I'm gonna try to do that before I put it onto the page for you guys. Um, then you just cut out a lot of the pages. I just did that. So you need around 14 pages for each um, map. So three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 13 and 14 pages and uh, you need to make them all lie the same way and I feel I have one in here that is a bit larger than the other so I'm just gonna remove those one, two, here we go. They have the same size. So I'm just gonna hold them like that and I'm gonna find my glue. 
And I love my Petix. Actually, I'm going to take a clamp here because they are... They need to be lying perfect. There we go. Um, I have some wrist paper here. I can take that. And then just... a tiny bit of my glue on the paper and I'm gonna take a toothpick here and popping a tiny bit of glue here on the back of the book Figuring out what side is what. So this is the front of the book. Taking my book cover and placing it perfectly over the sides. And there you go. And if you didn't fold your uh, book cover totally great, you will have a little overlay here. But you can uh, take your scissor and cut it. The book cover is made a bit bigger than the book because I always think it's prettier when the cover is going over the sides and not uh, the other way around. But that's it for making the notebook. And thank you for watching. Happy crafting!